Hi, it's Diane with My Sacred Circles. What is etheric reconstruction? Etheric reconstruction is sometimes called etheric surgery, and it is not a medical procedure, and I am not a medical professional, and allow that to be my disclaimer for any of the information that follows in this video. So let's talk about the mind body spirit connection and again you know I'm gonna go back to this a million times because it is so um, present your etheric layer touches your physical body so you have many layers to your aura and your body is not just your physical body you have your mental body your emotional your physical and your spiritual so you have your thoughts and your feelings and you have that you know tangible body that has your tissues and muscles and blood coursing through it and you also have the energetic field that expands beyond it that energetic field is your aura and it's made up of several different layers and it can be uh, for most people it's about four feet out it extends out about four feet and it can extend up to 50 feet out and it is generally thought by most people as you know when they think of an aura they think of colors and those colors represent what you're feeling, uh, what, what your emotional state is, uh, who you are as a human being. When you think of someone with one whose arc field is expanded to 50 feet out, you're talking about someone who is in full flow. They're happy, they're confident, they're enjoying life, they're spiritually connected. So uh, you really want that, to strengthen that arc field. And more than just to brag, uh, my arc field's bigger than your arc field, it is really, it's a filtration system that your body has, that it protects you. So it is another form of protection that your body has innately designed within it to help you throughout your life. You are born with an aura and when you come into this world, you come in with beneficial uh, energetic structures as well as sometimes with some negative energetic structures. And throughout your life, you can add to both of these. So. If you think about events that have happened in your life that make you cry and make you angry and things that you've held on to for years, trauma, pain, grief, you know, lost loves, all of these things can store negative energetic uh, structures within your auric field and throughout your life that can build and build and build and build. Your etheric field is in constant contact with your body and what can happen is after having so much negative energy and holding on to this trapped negative energy at some point your body sort of screams out and says enough is enough and it can manifest in disease so what you want to do uh, before it hits disease before it hits illness you know you really want to cleanse and clear that space you want to get rid of those negative energy blocks and so etheric reconstruction is where you lift up that etheric field from the body. You call in an etheric team of archangels and spirit guides and 
um, ascended masters and people who have passed on that are best suited to help you with the problems that you are having and they become your etheric team for the etheric reconstruction. So a normal session is normally about 45 minutes. It can be anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours. And when it's something really intense, sometimes that means it goes beyond the two hour mark, in which case it's really best to do in multiple sessions. And that is a rare instance, but it does sometimes happen. But your typical person, it's about a 45 minute session and you'll notice that when you have this etheric reconstruction, you can come into it thinking, okay, I want to work on this. I want to deal with this issue, like, you know, patterns of, uh, a, you know, abandonment issues or trauma of some sort. And if you look back a month or two later, you may recognize that certain things physically or emotionally and mentally, you know, may have changed in your life as well. So it's really good to reflect both upon the time that you've had the etheric reconstruction and say what your experience was during the process and then think back later to has anything changed since have i seen other changes in my life and when did they stop and you can start to see a marked improvement during that time also, sometimes when you have etheric reconstruction, it doesn't end with the session with me. Sometimes your etheric team can stay with you and continue to work with you on these um, problems that you're having. So sometimes it's something where the angels are with you and um, I, I find this an extremely beautiful um, healing modality and I, I encourage anyone to inquire about it it is not appropriate for some people to have etheric reconstruction however I think for the majority of people it is um, a really recommended thing to do periodically and um, it'll help optimize your your vitality and restore you to the person that you are meant to be so uh, if you have any questions about etheric reconstruction please write me at d-i-a-n-e at mysacredcircles.com and leave your name and number and I'll give you a call and we can I can answer any questions you have and and talk to you a little bit about different experiences or what to expect in a session and different things that you know we do and this can be done um, distance as well as in person so um, I, I hope that you're able to try it. It is the greatest joy. Oh, my love. Namaste.